Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to do a walkthrough, a full process of this painting right here. I had a few requests um, for an animal painting and so what I decided I would do, it's gonna be a long one, but I'll walk you guys through the process of going from a blank piece of paper to getting to this end result. And if you're interested in following along, feel free to go ahead. So what I'm using here to start off with is a golden ratio ruler. Um, which is somewhat complicated, but all you basically need to know is that it kind of does close to the rule of thirds. Um, so what I'm starting off by doing drawing here is the the first cow's head. We're really just trying to do the the outer shapes of the cows. The rest, all the little details, don't really matter. We just basically need a guideline for where the brush will go, kind of what's the edge um, of where things are. And down at the bottom where the feet are, I'm not going to do anything real complicated, I'm just going to have the feet um, end off into white space because later on we're going to let the, the grass kind of come up from that spot. So now I'm working on the cow on the right. We can see that he's just a little further behind, a little smaller, going back to the eyes just so we have an idea of where those are. They'll look horrible, but we will go back and, and change them. Got the body here, again, leave the legs down below. The other thing that I will try to indicate is where the spots are. So if there's any kind of white parts at the bottom of the cows, I'll make sure that those are showing as well. You'll see me continue to go back and kind of fix up some spots. So I'm just doing the bottom here. And what I'll do as I work is kind of continue to go back, look at the reference, see how each object feels in relation to the next one. One of the choices I made going into this painting was to get rid of the very front cow. I just felt like it was too big and kind of took up too much space. And it meant that a lot of the cows were facing forward. So I wanted to kind of break things up. So I had those two on the right facing forward. And then I wanted to take one that's just behind the front cow um, that's kind of sideways and make that be the cow there in the middle and then carry on with a few in the back and the one off to the left. So with this one we're kind of going to have to imagine a lot of where the actual body is and what, how, how it fits, where it goes. Um, you can kind of see the top piece um, and not much else. The rest of the drawing stage I'll just let you guys go on on your own. Uh, I'll put some music on and, and this is kind of sped up anyway so that I don't take forever and I'll go back and fix a few things so you guys can follow along. Other than that, I'll see you at the stage where we get actually putting some watercolor in. So I'm going to be using a fairly big brush, especially for the start of this. And my plan is um, basically to work from the top down. I'll start with the sky. And my goal throughout this whole thing is going to be to try to keep most of what is kind of here in the background and then even what is in the foreground, especially at the beginning, to keep it pretty um, muted, faded, 
and just keep it really wet at the beginning so that it won't there won't be a lot of hard edges and then the focus of kind of the hard edges and where a lot of those prominent shapes are will all be on the cows so um, I will start in with the sky and because this is quite a big piece of paper I'm gonna have to work fairly fast um, so I may end up not talking a whole lot as I go especially at the beginning because you do have to move pretty fast. So, and I'm hoping to basically just blend the sky right into the grass and not leave much of an edge there. I do though want really blue sky. I haven't been happy with a few of my, few of my latest paintings. The sky has turned out fairly bland and uh, I really want this to feel really blue. And my hope is to pop out some of those those yellows and things that are there in the in the reference photo, especially down on the bottom right hand side. Okay, so in here, I'm going to do a very light tree kind of foliage right in there. Uh, yep. I'm going to put some yellow in and that should just mix in with the green and the blue and give us a bit of a tree feel right there. Okay, so now I'm going to, what, what I'm not gonna do is end up using just pure green all the way through. You kinda wanna vary it a bit. So what I'll do is put a bit of green, put a bit of yellow. That yellow will blend a little bit with that blue. Put some more green. I won't worry too much, honestly, at the beginning because I do need to work fast. Um, but I will try to be intentional. I notice in the picture there's a few kind of like earthy, almost like orangey, yellowy tones out here. So I'll try to put a few of those in. This stuff is almost dry here already, so I really have to work fast. Put some yellows in there. The whole idea is to just vary it as you go with putting a few few different colors and the goal is going to be here to work around the cows as we get close to them work around them and leave them the only thing that's not gonna get touched in this initial wet wash Put a little more in here red okay so as you get close, I have to be a little more careful. Again, the reason that I want to keep the cows untouched, if we touch them a little bit, it's fine. But I want, especially the cows, some of them have white spots and I don't have time at this point to go and decide which ones don't and do. But some of them do. And for those ones that do, um, I want to be able to make those spots pop. And if they're covered in green, I can't really do that. Okay, so we're almost here at the legs. My plan for the legs is to pull out that spray bottle that I talked about in my supplies video. If you haven't seen that, you can go back and watch that just to talk about some of the supplies you may need, especially at the beginning. So what I'll do, whoop, let's grab that. And this is partly why in the drawing stage I left the legs very uh, kind of all over the place. I didn't spend a lot of time bringing out those legs was because I knew that once I got in here I was just gonna go crazy and so I'm just gonna put a bunch of browns and greens these are in here and dark I do want uh, over here I want especially some of that yellow to pop okay so again this is all just really wet and it should be what it'll 
what I'll do is I'll give it a real nice kind of soft effect and just blend in with everything. And we can go back and uh, make their legs stand out a little more as time goes on. But this will this will look really nice. Just being so soft. Put some browns down here just to kind of vary things up. We're almost down there at the bottom. We'll just go right down. The reason I have, well, you can't actually see it, it may have showed up in that last video. I have a little uh, <laughs> Duplo block actually on the bottom of my canvas just because I need to have it sitting up for my easel because if it's on my easel, I can't actually get at the very bottom edge. Okay, so now I don't want to go back if something is already dry, but there's a few spots where this is still wet, and I can just, yeah, that's probably too dry. Just go up and touch some of these spots and just make sure that their legs are, some of those white spaces are a little more covered in. Okay, so here I see I got his ear. That is okay, we can deal with that. And here I didn't leave a space. Oh, that's actually his back. Never mind. Pretend I didn't do that. Okay, so we're just going to let this dry now. All right, so now that that's dried properly, I have uh, clipped this side down because the paper was starting to buckle a little bit, and I'm using a watercolor block, which I really don't like because um, it just does crazy things. Um, what my plan is to do at this point is to basically just deal with this whole background area here. So we're gonna add in, the, the foliage didn't really, the green kind of faded in. We'll probably add in a little bit of this tree, do some of that fence. And I'm gonna work up to about here, that stop area, and then we'll deal with all the rest of this um, a little bit later. So what I want to do is I want to keep this all fairly soft in the background. So I'm just going to go and with a like a plain old wet brush, kind of wet all of this area because it has already dried. It if you don't press too hard, um, you should be able to just get a nice kind of wet coat on top. Um, so now that we have that, we will go in and I'll start over here. I probably shouldn't have gone and wet the whole thing at once, but whatever. And I'll just add a few little, so this kind of has like a few little bush things. Just to basically add a bit of texture. I'm gonna use Payne's Gray because I this, all of this is just gonna take quite a bit of working fast and I don't really wanna have time, take time to mix up grays. It's usually better to kind of mix up your own, but I'm not gonna bother because I'm working faster. Again, if you did want to mix up your own gray, you could do that with um, ultramarine and burnt sienna. I don't know how I feel about this hard edge here. I might just try to keep it fairly soft. Basically, the goal is just to kind of evoke a little bit of a sense of some bushes back here. Give an idea that there's a bit of a, you know, a fence line with some stuff growing. some darker spots here and there. A little bit of browns and stuff. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna run a clean rush right underneath here, just so that it, oop take some of the wetness off of that. So we're not left with a crazy hard edge there. Okay, 
I'm gonna go back and we have a little bit of tree foliage up here. So I'm gonna mix up a green, but I want it to kind of stay very light. So I'm actually gonna mix up a little bit of gray and a green and just, it's probably even more hard edge than I want. I want this to stay very much in the background. Maybe I should go a little darker. There is in the picture just a little bit of a shadow out here. So maybe I'll do that in a little bit though. I don't think I'll do that right now. Um, I may, we just, I think what I'll do is just forge ahead with this whole area while we're here, rather than go back. Normally I would, once we get to the details, go back and relook at some of these spots, but I, I'd rather just focus just on the on the cows later. So I'm just gonna add in some of these fence posts here. Again, trying to keep it kind of wet. So this is just wet and wet, though that's still wet there. Some of these parts will be a little drier and they'll act a little differently. But some of them are still fairly wet. So they'll take, take that stuff a little differently. I'm just adding a little more in there Darken it up. Looks like I have a, a brush hair there stuck there. Okay, I'm just gonna take a green with a little bit of gray and I'm gonna add some marks going this way just to kind of give a sense of that where that break happens between that fence. And actually in the picture, you really don't see much as far as the, the actual fence part, the, uh, you know, these, what's that called? <laughs> the barbed wire or whatever. But uh, I'm just gonna add that in. I might go back, probably what I'll do is go back and retouch this, but I just wanted to add some of that now and do it while it's nice and wet. If it's wet and it's there, I may decide later that there's enough there that I'll just leave it. So I'm going to do that shadow in there now. It's still kind of wet, just kind of nice. And I'm just, this is just green and some gray to darken it up. I'm gonna put it right back in there and I'm gonna add in a little bit darker, just because I this I just want this fence to kind of get darker right here. And I might just I might just pretend that this. Let's see, just carry that across. Okay. I think I'll leave that for now. Oh, one other thing I might just do is a few more of these back here. Yeah. I haven't decided whether I'll go back and put in that. There is a fence back in here, but I may not do that ever, or I may just do it later. Okay. So now I wanna work on this section in here. What I might do, I think I'll start with the cows and then go in and I'll add in another layer of foliage here and I may not even retouch these areas. We may just, the only thing we may do here is do some of these kind of marks and add in a bit of texture. Um, but I may just decide in general to leave it more or less the way it is. So with the cows, <clears throat> I'll start over on this guy on the left. I'm gonna be using yellow ochre kind of a little bit for the light spots. Um, 
and burnt sienna for kind of the, well, also the light spots. So a bit of a mix of both. So yellow ochre, burnt sienna, doing a bit of both. The burnt sienna will dry pretty light. So yeah, it's, so this is mainly for the parts that are highlighted by the sun. So what we're gonna do is skip anything that is white. So he has some kind of white spots up here and then over here, go like that. This whole ear is more or less brown. I'm just gonna go and cover it over anyway. We'll go and add a dark layer on anything that's in the shadow later. So then here, most of it is brown. There's just a little stripe. This is a little hard to see with the camera and everything. Um, this whole ear up to here, we'll do brown. And then here. So again, everything that's not white, we're just gonna go and make this light color. We could be adding in some of the dark now if we wanted, but I am not going to bother. I'm just gonna revisit it with a darker color on anything that's in the shade. Ah, might do that on this side because I may as well. <clears throat> so this is raw umber, which is just a bit of a darker brown. And I'm just gonna put that on this side. Again, you don't really need to follow the picture where the white spots are, but just leave some spots. So his leg, and then when we get down to the white, just leave it faded out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm fairly happy with that. Okay, so that is one of them. <coughs> so I think for now here, we'll just move, I'm gonna go back to the burnt sienna. We'll just move from left to right. So do this ear. This guy, again, most of their heads are all white, minus like one cow I think has a brown head, which is right here. Now this cow, Though there's part of his ear that is in quite a bit of sun. So I'm really going to try to, I'm going to add in yellow ochre just to kind of really lighten that up to show that there is sun on that part. And uh, again, I'll probably just end up doing, and this part of his face also has yellow ochre. So the rest I can hit with burnt sienna. Although I could just go and do all of him with... Uh, yellow ochre and then cover it up, that'd be fine too. Now this ear is also brown, so we'll go in and do that. Just connect up the shapes right here. Bring our brown down to our, um, yeah, I'll just keep this all the same. Does have a bit of a lighter spot right here. Not that it really matters. And then brown, brown, brown. And then, f so for this next cow, because we can't see most of it, what I'm gonna try to do right here is leave some hairs. Not that, I don't know that we'll be able to see that. <coughs> So we kind of have to imagine some of it. I can see a little bit that the top of his back is this light brown, and then uh, and all the way at the his, all the way along. But I'm not going to jump ahead yet. Um, so I'm just going to assume that most of him is probably this brown, and so what we'll do is we'll just keep it light on the top, and then as we go down, brown it up. And when we get down near the bottom, we can probably start using this dark brown. Raw umber again, all the way to the bottom. And we'll just let his legs disappear. We're gonna come in with the green later and kind of deal with all of this space. So we really won't worry about the bottoms and what gets what color. 
All right, got to keep going up here. This wet edge and the brown. Let them kind of mix. He does have some kind of darker spots that go a little higher, so I'm just taking the darker brown in there. I am aware that that top edge looks like it's getting pretty close to being dry, so I need to go deal with that quickly here. Right up in here. Now that's probably too wet. And then he does have a few little random, whoops, spots up here that are a little darker. Just like that. Okay, this guy, there is a highlight on the top of his ear where the, the sun is kind of hitting it. So I'd kind of like to keep that. Now he's quite dark. So I'm just gonna leave a space right there for where that ear is lit up. And there is no space on the bottom, so I'm just going right down. I'm just gonna let this guy blend right into the next one. And his ear has a little edge right there. Go around, try to maybe leave a little spots for some hairs around his eyes. Those may not show up. You know what, I'll just cover them up because if we want, we can always go back in with white paint and add that later. They're small enough. Go all the way down here. All right, I'm getting a little watery. Okay, on this side, he is a little bit kind of lighter brown, so I'm gonna mix the burnt sienna and the raw umber, so it's kind of a redder, lighter brown because parts of him are in sun and parts are not. And so we'll go like that right along here. Should have probably done his ear first, but oh well. Go all the way down and kind of disappear down there with his leg. <coughs> so his back is kind of gonna be interesting. He has a lot of highlights there, and I think what I'll do, if I leave him white, it'll just look a little weird. So I think what I'll do is kind of cover most of his back with this light brown. And and then uh, when we go back and do, do a bit of a darker wash, we can leave some areas. They'll look lighter, even though they're that light brown, they'll they'll look lighter than the rest. But I think if I just leave him white, it'll look like he has giant white spots, which isn't really the look we want going. Okay, this is pretty dark. That's fine. Probably will stay about that dark. And then right out, he does have, in the picture, there's again a little highlights on the edge of his ears where the, the light just takes the edge. So we'll leave that, and go right down there. Okay. We're almost done. He, let's see, that is a white leg in there. Just go like this. A little bit of a back leg. <clears throat> and there is a spot down here. I'll just, this is still wet, so I'll go ahead and do that. Take it down here. He's got a little bit on his leg. And then it disappears. Okay. So this guy is very dark on, he's pretty much the same. So he's gonna be very dark brown on this ear. He has these little hairs like right here. So we'll try to preserve those. Go right up underneath. And then we'll come down. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of gray to make that even darker. Go down here. There's a bit of a gnarly leg and then don't wanna go too much further. Just gonna try to blend, ah, forget it. Like I said, we will deal with that once we get in there with the grass that's growing in around there. Go down here. Has some white on his chest. 
talking like these are all boy cows, which quite honestly, I don't really know enough. I'm assuming they're all girls. Don't think any of these ones are bulls. I'm very, uh, very country. So, you know, I know all kinds of stuff about cows. I do not. Okay, and then we'll go light over here. Whoop, just smudge that a bit. Okay. Okay, and then it's got a bit of a white stripey thing going there, a bit on the back, or the top. We'll just make sure that that gap isn't there. And I'm just going to trail that down the leg just so it doesn't look too weirdly disconnected. Okay. <clears throat> So that, oh, we missed this guy back here. We gotta go back to that ear. I don't really wanna touch it yet because I'm afraid I'll bleed into the other part. So I'll go back and do this guy's ear. Go here, it's all pretty dark. Can't see a lot of it, honestly, behind the other cow that we are not putting in. That should be good. And then there's the little guy, Peeping Tom, over here, peeking over all the rest of them. Wants to be included, but is left to the outside. Poor guy. Don't want this to be too wet, because if it is, it will bleed into the other layer that we just did. It's pretty dry. The layer below it is at least, um, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But you just want to be careful. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go back and do this ear. There we have it. All right. So while we let those dry, we can add a few. I'm gonna to go to a smaller brush and we'll just add some of the some of this texture back. I'm going back to the green and gray. And I'm just gonna add some whoopsie, that's more than I wanted. Add some marks back here. I don't think we'll go add a whole bunch more. But we just kind of want something. Okay. Um, I think I'll go back as well, again, while we wait for that to dry and just touch a few of these spots. Just trying to bring a little more life to the background. I, I really don't want the background taking over and so that might, that might be all I do. I don't know if I'll do any more. The other thing I think, we'll just try this. Let's go for a very light brown. And we'll just go and add in this fence back here. I really don't want it to stand out very much. can just disappear back here and then just going to try to get some plain water and just diffuse the edge of that maybe put in a spot of green Um, one thing that I should do before I go much further 
is do the uh, the noses because that pink well can't decide if you want to go in and do the pink after the gray probably you want to do it before so for the pink what I'm gonna do you can actually see a tiny bit from something I must have done before this um, I'm gonna add a little bit of that white that I mostly use for highlights I don't have it in a in a cake just in the tube and then the color I'm going to use is this this is a quinacridone magenta and I'm just gonna it's kind of like a, somewhere between a like a really vibrant pinky purple so I'll start over here so this has the most time to dry I am going to go in in a bit and we'll just go do all their little pink noses this one's more brown we'll just whatever don't want him to feel left out and here okay so that is that took not very long so that is because it's going to be wet <coughs> What we can do though is add shadows to anywhere that's not going to be so I'm not going to put in we're at some point we're going to put in the grays on the head that are in the shadow but for now we can at least go and put in the the darker browns on the on the cows themselves on their their sides but we can't go and touch the noses because that will just mess up the pink that we just put in there so I'm gonna go right here we're just gonna go like this go up to this edge go down so all I'm doing this is just a darker brown same dark brown that we used here and here raw umber put that spot in and on this side same thing so a few little spots over here the ear up to there just gonna add a little bit of Payne's gray to make it even darker I want to leave those white spots there we go Okay, so now we will move on to, this guy has a quite a reddish color, even though it's in the shadow. So what I'm gonna do with this is just go Payne's Gray. So again, you can mix that with uh, Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. You could also just put the brown on top, but I just want something, basically I want that lighter, um, reddish brown to come through so I'm trying to keep this one a little lighter than some of the others and their shadows go here and then all down here a little bit of that sunspot just on the side of its face this is all that's an ear that is pretty dark so I'll go for a real dark brown for here. And it comes up a little bit on the side of the face. One thing I probably should have done, which since I'm distracted, I'll just do that now. So I'll go back, so I still have this pink color here. Um, let's go back, and there are some of these guys. These, this guy has dark colors, dark little spots on his eyes. This one has some pink. So I'm just gonna go and add in that. This one has a little bit of pink on the eyes. The 
this one did for sure, which is why I thought of it. Oop, that black is gonna bleed through. Here, pink, it's probably more than I needed. Yep, <clears throat> okay. Go back to the dark color. So on this one, again, we really don't know what this cow looks like. We can see a little bit at the top. So we're just gonna have to imagine. So on what we can see is that it gets a little darker up here. So I'm just gonna assume that it gets, you know, darker and darker as it goes down. And just kind of go like that. I don't want it to be too, I don't know. I want to keep it fairly organic looking so that it's not weird and splotchy. Although that is one nice thing about cows is they are weird and splotchy. That's probably why I like painting them because you can, your brush strokes fit really well with the, some of the patterns. Okay, I'm just going to take a clear brush and just go along the top there. Go dark. Okay. All right, I had to stop there for a sec. Um, so we will go on with continuing to darken up these cows. So we'll go on from here. Oh, it needs to be darker. I'm gonna go ahead and make him pretty dark. Um, because he is in the picture, but also I'm just a little bit um, aware of kind of the needing to vary each of these cows. So we have some lighter colors over there. I want some nice dark ones here. Just so your eye has a few different things to look at. There's a little bit of variety there. Go down to the bottom. Okay, on the left, well, let's deal with the back. So I'm not gonna go as dark. He has a few different spots, so like here, and then there's kind of a ridge up here. And then a bit here, and then a little bit here. Now, I don't really like how that looks as far as looking so splotchy, so I'm just gonna take a really wet brush get rid of most of the water in it though i'm just going to soften up all these edges so that they kind of run together so we still have those dark spots that are standing out a little but uh, i don't know hopefully they'll kind of blend a little more okay going back to that darker shadow that I was using on the left side. So here, there's this shadow cast by, well, maybe it's just by its own body. Could be from the other cow, I suppose. Go down there, here, whoop. And then down the leg. Okay, and the last one, again, I think I'll keep this fairly dark, just so these two on the right have that dark. <clears throat> okay, so I had the camera cut out there on me, so you have missed some stuff. So I just went in, finished up this cow, did his ears, um, did a few little spots there. I think that was pretty much all I did. Oh, I was was in the process, I think, when it cut out of doing this ear right here. 
Is that it's very wet. Might just he does have an ear part of it over there. Just do that. Okay. So I think what we'll do now, let's. I, I kind of want to finish up most of the cows, and then we will go and deal with the foliage down here. So what we will do is you can mix up a um, with burnt sienna and ultramarine. I'm going to mix up a light gray, and I want that gray to have the reason I'm doing not just using Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray has a little bit of a blue tinge anyway, but I want that gray to have a blue tinge because if you notice, white, when it's in shadow, usually has a bit of a blue look. So you can see on some of the cow's faces, there is a bit of a blue, hint of blue in that shadow. So I'm gonna try to get a shadow, you can kind of see has a blue blue tinge that's a gray so i'll start over here on the left and we're just going to go and leave anything that's that's um highlighted by the sun so there's some spots up here and then we're just going to cover over the whole rest of the head oops went a little too far this part's there on the left hand side okay down here all of this here, there, down there, okay, it's like a little bit there, okay, and I'm just going to put in a little bit of dark, because it does get darker down there on the leg, that'll just make it look a little more interesting, okay. Uh, I'm not going to touch this cow because there's some wet paint right there and I'm afraid if I go and do that now I'll make a mess of it. So I'll come back to him. Mixing up a little more burnt sienna, ultramarine. It's going to be a little bluey, that's fine. This guy, I don't like the way his face is. I think I need to widen it so I might, might do that with white here in a bit. Um, so I won't do him yet so we'll go here it's probably a little darker than I wanted it to be it will dry lighter obviously but I'll just use some water to um, spread it out now and rather than adding in more color and then we'll go here all the way down to the nose leave that little bit of the right side most of that nose is all in shadow. We'll just go straight down to here. Okay, back here. Do -do. All right. Same thing, I still have some left mixed. Just add maybe a little more blue because this guy somehow looks maybe a little more bluish over here. We'll add in those dark spots for the eyes later. So I'll leave here and then right side of the nose is light. Way down, just go like that. Uh, down here. Oh, some of that's still wet, actually. Oh well, if it runs together, that is fine. And then there's actually highlight down on that left side, but we kind of lost some of that, which is whatever. So I'll just go like that. Okay. Now we have the one back here. Okay. So just little bits there there tiny bit there maybe just go a tiny bit up there okay and then this one this whole left side if it mixes with the wet stuff there at this point i don't really care it's hopefully dry enough that that's fairly dark actually hopefully dry enough that if it does mix it won't mix a whole lot 
I did leave a spot there to put a spot of brown, but I ended up not putting that spot in. Might put it in later. That's supposed to be brown too. Okay. I'll just touch some of these spots down here, there. Pretend that's just like that. Okay. So I want to deal with this cow's face here that I don't like because I'll probably need it fixed before I go and do a bunch of other stuff. Our heating, our central air system, I guess, came on and um, it was fairly loud, so I decided to stop videoing. But while I was doing that, I did put the white on the sides of this guy's head so that I like it a little better. It just looked way too skinny before. So what I'm going to do while I wait for that to dry, and then we can put the shadow, the gray, bluey shadow on that one. I'm going to do go back and do some of these eyes and then we will get down to the foliage. I may add a little bit down in the shadows too. So we'll go um, start here on the right one and there's kind of this really dark brown almost black spot coming down the face there. And then same thing on this side. Okay. This one has those kind of more pinky spots. So I'm just going to put some, this is just gray, but you could basically use black if you had black too, or that ultramarine. And we're just going to put in little spots for the eyes. Okay. Um, here, this one has some brown spots, so I'll just lightly put that in and here. And then I don't actually want so much detail, so I'm just going to put the black in right away. And I'm going to put it in very thick without much water, so hopefully it doesn't go and run all over the place and then it can just kind of blend into each other a little bit, just like that. Okay, do this one back here, little spot there. That one's barely noticeable. This one up here, eye there, another one there. All right. All right, now, this one on the front does have a little bit of even a darker shadow. I'm just going to go and add a little bit more to some of the shadows just to give the face, especially the one that's closest, a little more depth. So in here, right there, kind of underneath that eye along there. Okay. And then down here, I'm going to make that almost the shadow, bring it a little bit. It's almost a yellowy tinge. And just cover this is actually some of this is still damp that's fine so it goes right up to there and just that left side that looks a little too straight we'll just add it a little more texture there we go okay i don't think i'll do that to very many of them just because but because he's one of the closest ones i thought i would do that okay well, this is still, I'm still a little worried to go in and do that face yet. I want to give it a bit more time to dry. So what I'm going to do is mix up a little bit of a gray. And then I'm going to go, a lot of these cows have little kind of gray spots on their noses. So I'm just going to add some of that. Whoops, too much. Okay. That one doesn't. This one has a little bit. Okay. Add a little more there. Okay. And then I'm going to, same thing, just maybe a little darker color. Go in and do some of those nostrils. So this one for sure has these two little nostrils. Here. Not a whole lot. That's more than's in the picture, but that's okay. There there just let that kind of blend here oh this is pretty light so i'm going to try not to do too much 
it's just a bit there and then there and I'm going to add a little bit more because we went wet and wet on its eyes kind of faded a bit just a little bit on those spots okay and I just did notice there is more on this ear that we lost so I'll just go and add that all right so um, I did have some details that I wanted to do in the back before I got the foliage in the front. So I'm going to grab my tube of white and uh, I'm going to spray, I want to add this, make this a little darker. I know I didn't want it to be very dark. So I'm just going to spray a bit there and do some gray and green. And again, I just, I want it to stay fairly wet. So I'm just gonna go like that. Ooh, I don't like that edge. Okay, it will bleed a little, that is okay. Just gonna put a little bit there, kind of define the top of that ridge. Okay. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to add in a few details with white, as well as a fence post in here, right in there. And then I'm going to add in some barbed wire, especially in these darker areas, like that. Whoopsie. Okay, I think my brush still has some gray on it that I need to get rid of. Okay. Go across there. Just kind of want to give the hint of a fence over here in the shadows. May actually go back on some of these spots too and just add in a bit of a white. Just that could be like the sun hitting a bit of barbed wire. You will barely notice it unless you do it a little stronger, but it just, whoopsie, will give us a hint of a fence. Okay. Now, I am not gonna wait any longer for that left cow to dry. So we'll see how bad this goes. So because I am just a little bit afraid that it will still be slightly damp, what I'm gonna do is I'll mix up my gray and the whole, whenever you're going on top of paint that's already there, it's fine if it's very dry, it's, it, you shouldn't affect it too much, but if it's damp of course you'll go and smudge it all over the place so the key sometimes is just to working fast and not uh, spending a lot of time brushing it so I'll be fine up here and then when I get down over the sides of the face I'm just basically gonna hit it one time and not go back so right there and then down there can't really tell what's in shadow and what isn't so I'll just go like that and not touch it again Alrighty, so that is done. We'll go back and do that one's eyes in a bit, but I'm just gonna move on now and we will get into some of the major foliage at the front. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be using my spray intermittently and we're gonna be doing a bunch of shadows in here. I want those to stand out and I also want on the picture, you can see there's a bit of a leading shadow that starts down here and moves towards the cows. And I like that, I want, because I want your eye to kind of be led in towards the cows. Your eye will naturally land there anyway because they're in focus. But I'm gonna keep some spray in different parts. So I may as well just go in and do that now. So what I'll just do is just add a bit of that around. So what that will do is just give us some sp spots where um, it will stay lighter and the color will kind of spread out 
So I'm just going to go right in here. And again, just like we did earlier, you want to kind of vary. That's uh, probably almost too thick. Vary that color. Might just give that a bit of a spray so that it's not really hard edge. Okay, some browns, bit of yellow, back to green, and I want it to evoke a sense of grass. Put some more yellows in there. I'm gonna go bright yellow. Won't show up much. Okay, grass again. I'm trying to go dark. It is because we sprayed that stuff in, it's gonna be fairly wet. We will go back over these spots and add in some blades. Ooh, that's very dark. That's fine. It's pretty wet. Okay, just gonna go down here, leave some spots. Go in some yellow again. Try to keep it buried. Remember, we're gonna come all the way down to that left hand side. All in here. This is all in shadow, bits of shadow. Okay, I'm gonna spray the bottoms of some of this. Keep it loose. Okay, over on the left hand side, I want this to be fairly yellow still so I'm just gonna go in and this is yellow ochre that I'm mixing in in parts here and this I really want to be loose I don't want there to be really strong because there aren't really strong shadows in the picture okay so for here I'm not well we'll just go like this and go across and then I'll give it a spray Okay, now we need to bring out those darker shadows from down here, leading up. So I'm just gonna go dark. This is just wet and wet. This will give still a soft feel, but it, it'll look darker right now than it will actually be when it dries. So I'm going darker than I think I need to, because I know that it will lighten up as it dries. Go in there. Here, get rid of those drops. Okay, I have a bunch of water pooling down here that I'm gonna get rid of, because if it sits there, it'll look funny. So any of these edges, I'm gonna try to make them look down here I can if I do it right I can give it the sense that that yellow grass is there here down here I'll do some darker green again actually I'll do a bit of a yellow in there okay now I'm just gonna put some dark let that kind of bleed down a bit up so you can see I'm trying to by doing these lines down what will end up looking it'll end up giving a feel a little bit like some of these things down below are actually blades of grass and I do have a lot of water down here that I'm going to try to pick up from that spray. Okay, um, this part needs, I'm gonna go in while it's still wet, because I want it to be able to bleed into the rest. I'm just gonna be adding some marks that'll look a little like blades of grass. I kind of want this 
to go up a little more. I don't really like how it dips off down at the bottom. But oopsie, what I'll do is just give that a spray. And I'm gonna add in a little more there of a shadow. Let that bleed in there. All right, so I'm just going around and adding blades in a few parts, trying to, that way the tops will stick up and then the bottoms will kind of blend into that grass. Try here, I'm gonna go, this is yellow ochre, just to add in some more yellowy strands. Okay, here, this part here needs a little bit of variety. It looks a little one-dimensional. That is, as you can see, a hard edge there. Okay, add in a bit of, this is kind of gray black. Do a few little touches there. Okay, I'm pretty soon here, I'm gonna be switching to a smaller brush. This does have a pretty good point, but uh, it's probably just smarter to have a smaller brush for a lot of this. All right. So I'm gonna give some of this, well, I'll go in and add a few more marks and then I'm gonna give it a bit of a rest so that it can start to dry a bit and then we can always add more marks later. Some more green. Some of these, oopsie. Do some. Going across that way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move over to this side. So, with these ones, I want them more sticking out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm adding a little bit of orange. There are some orangey spots over here. The only thing I do want to make sure I do is like give, so this cow doesn't look like it's floating in the middle of nowhere. So make sure that I put some marks in and around his feet. And then down here in this white space that we left, and add a few blades. Oof, doesn't look good because they're they need to have it be connected to the bottom. Okay. Go back and do some here. Just gonna take this edge and bring it down a little bit. So that doesn't look like it's floating there in the middle of nowhere. And I'll try to keep the bottom sharper. There we go, okay. We are getting close, close to the end. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of burnt sienna. Have some browner spots. Okay. Do one here. Like that. Okay. I am almost happy with that. I'm still feeling a little bit like there's something that I don't like here, this edge. So I think I'll just go back in. I'm gonna try with some water to blend this in up 
there. I think it'll look less weird maybe when I add in a bit more. Oh my goodness. Too dark. It does have a fair bit of water, so it should maybe lighten up. Add in a bit here. I'm planning to do a bit of splattering back here in the background. Too dark again. Okay, and then I don't know if I, I might just leave that open, kind of like some of these, some of these spots. I, this one though looks a little weird, so I'll just add in a few blades. I'm gonna do a few more dark blades here and there, because that helps them stick out a little more. And what I'll probably do is also go in with white and add in some lighter blades that look like they'll be maybe hit a little bit by the sun. May not, it may not end up looking that great, but we'll see. Okay, uh, before I do anything else, I'll go back finally and do this guy. He's got a little bit under his nose. Do the eyes. And in there, can't even see the eye on the picture. Small little bit there. Nostrils. Okay. I would say we are fairly close, very close to being done. So here's what we will do. We'll just add in some white. I wanna do some splatter. What I'm planning to do is do a little bit of white splatter back in here maybe. I'll have to protect the cows so they don't get that on them. We'll add in some hairs on the cows. So I'm using whoop, white tube going straight out of the tube. Just gonna add in some hairs here. A lot of the cows have these little hairs coming off their chins. Don't want them to be too strong, but they'll look nice just to have a bit of all these little details will kind of bring bring it out a bit. Okay. Already did his and left them. This one only has a couple little spots. All right. Just maybe add a few more down here. Since this one is one of the closest ones, it doesn't hurt to have a bit more detail, very detailed depending on where they are and how close. This one, add in a little more. Ah, it's at that stage where the paint is so dry that it's not hardly moving. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and add some white blades. I don't know how good this will look. We'll just see. Yeah, looks okay. Just add in a few spots. The other thing we could do, I might do that actually instead. Rather than white. I mean, white will look fine too, but what I might just do is, oops, take a bit of white. Actually, I have some white here left from when we did the pink. And I'm just going to take some yellow ochre and mix it in with that white so it'll be It'll be a really light yellow rather than just plain old white. I don't know how well that will stand up. We'll see. Yeah, a little bit. Probably needs more white in there. I'll put a little bit of fresh white. just to give it a bit of a yellowy tint so it's not completely white. It's not doing a whole lot, to be honest. Okay, here. A 
need more liquid. Okay guys, we are gonna get to some splattering in the back. So what I'm gonna do, I'll try, I don't wanna spray onto the painting, but I'm just, I, I, I need a really clean space. So I'm cleaning up and spraying into a, one of my wells and I'm cleaning out the paint. I want it nice and clean, just because the white will pick up any other color you have in there. And I'm gonna put some white into the well. And then I will add in quite a bit of water. Now my brush water is dirty. I could and could go and replace it, but I'm lazy. So again, I'm just gonna use my, I'm gonna do it off to the side so that it doesn't, there's no excess spray on the cows. But I'm just gonna spray some water in, into the mixture. And then the hard part will key. My brush is a little dirty too, so I'm gonna try to clean that up as much as possible. Okay, now it needs to be really watery, fairly white. Okay, so that's what I've got. I have never splattered white before, to be quite honest with you. Um, I've done lots of other splattering, never white. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna cover all of that up. If this isn't too crazy damp, I'll just maybe cover some of that up too with my little Rag. Yeah, it's not working. I need more water. Forget. Yeah, I don't know how well that's working, honestly. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Yeah, I don't know if that made much of a difference, to be quite honest. Try a little more up here. And then I'll try a bit over here. Need more. More liquid. There. Here. More liquid. Again, don't know if that made a huge difference or not. We'll see once it dries up, if it looks like anything. Um, so, I am just gonna add a touch more to a couple spots in the background. So, we'll go a little bit darker. I want to do a little bit darker green right along here. Just to define that edge a little more. Don't want it to stand out a whole lot. And then I also want a little bit in here. A bit darker. Okay. So now I would say we are done. We could go and add all kinds of little details and we could try to add more onto the back, but I like the way that it is right now, that the focus is right here. So all I'm gonna do is sign this down at the bottom and uh, wrap it up with you guys face to face. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments um, what you thought. If you liked it, I really enjoyed the process and just had a lot of fun with the painting. I'd love to hear from you guys what you thought. If there's things you'd like to see different, um, I'd also like to hear if there are any other subjects that you'd like me to do. So I'm really open to suggestions and would love to be able to do what you guys would enjoy seeing. So if there's stuff you'd love to see, whether it be subjects, let me know uh, down below. And if you're interested, subscribe and you can see more videos like this. See ya.